Hey everyone and welcome to cool things you can do with Verdi. So in the previous video I've given you um, a short introduction to Verdi coverage and today I'd like to focus more on the advanced coverage stuff. So um, if you remember this is the coverage uh, summary pane where you have all the well coverage summary information. Let me expand it by double clicking and let's look at the functional coverage or the coverage groups um, and see what else uh, we have here uh, for coverage analysis. So this is the flat list that you've uh, seen, you're all familiar with it. Um, but this one, um, this button here, will actually turn this flat view into a hierarchical view. Let's expand it a little bit. And what you can actually see here is the structure of your dynamic test bench. You know, all the masters and monitors and so forth uh, if you have a UVM environment, right? Um, and this is a great way to look at coverage because you're looking at the per instance coverage through the instances themselves. So for example, if you're interested in the coverage on your uh, second uh, master object, let's go to its monitor, and this is the total coverage for that monitor. Let's see what's in it. So you can actually see that this score is made up of the average of two cover groups. And you can, of course, uh, drill down and um, analyze further. By comparison, this is only a flat um, view, uh, which is uh, actually ordered by the cover group type. This is ordered by the instance itself and its location on the uh, test bench hierarchy. OK. So the other thing I want to show you today is called test association, which is a really, really cool feature. Um, so here's my, you know, my flat list of cover groups. Let's go back to the topology view and let's pick this um, item, this coverage point. So I'm looking at the details for this coverage point. I can see that there are a bunch of bins here. One of them um, is actually a hole. I'll deal with it later, but now I actually want to click, right click on um, on my bins and see which tests hit them. So I did this through right click, if you, if you noted, um, and what I can see here in the test list tab is actually the number, um, all the tests that hit that bin and the number of times that each of the tests hit it. So let's do this again for um, this bin here. So I'm clicking on show associated tests. Well, information is not very interesting. Here we go. So for this bin size one, uh, there's actually four tests, whereas before we had only two tests um, that hit this bin. So this bin was hit by four tests and each of the tests hit it 81 um, times. What's cool that is that I can also do this for the other coverage metrics. So let's pick an assertion Let's pick one of them. Let's take this one, for example. Do a right click, show associated tests. And here I get a whole lot of information. I can see uh, which test hit it, and, and also some details on the number of failures, uh, attempts, and so forth. Everything that's interesting for assertions. I can also do this for um, code coverage. So I can select um, a module or an instance in my um, design hierarchy. Uh, let's take, for example, the line coverage and let's see which of the tests hit that line, for example. So again, I'm doing a right click, show associated tests, and I can see the four tests out of the six that I run, um, that I ran, uh, have hit it. I can also do this for toggle coverage. So here's an interesting vector. It's a 16 uh, bit wide. I can see that there's only one transition from zero to one on bit three uh, was hit. So let me see which of the tests hit it. So only two tests, that test five and six hit it and caused the transition from zero to one on bit number three. So this is really interesting information if you wanna actually look and see which of the, your tests hit a particular coverage point, a bin, a toggle point or whatever. Uh, and then go and expand it and maybe see what's in that particular test that's causing 
um, you know, the hit, and maybe that would be a good point for expansion.